Joining us now, a guy I've been a big fan of for a long time, co-host of NPR's Morning Edition, Steve Inskeep. His latest New York Times op-ed is titled, Trump Looms Large Now, But Maybe Not Forever. And then it's Steve writes this in part, someday the clamor of Trump's tenure will fade, leaving behind a few essential facts, the first of which is his single term. Few presidents who served four terms or less find an enduring place in the popular imagination. One term is not long enough to influence a country so large and dynamic. And a president's failure to win a second term can be a sign that he didn't. One term presidents who escape obscurity often did something beyond the presidency, like John Adams, one of the nation's founders, or Jimmy Carter, whose much admired post-presidency has lasted 10 times as long as his term. We can't be sure what history will make of Mr. Trump, but to judge by information available today, he has a relatively narrow role in the American story as a reaction to a game-changing president, Barack Obama. President Trump may be a minor player in the larger story of a democracy grappling with demands for a more equal society, an era marked by the election of Mr. Obama, the first black president, and Mr. Trump's tenure already has a fitting bookend. On January 20th, he will be replaced by Mr. Obama's vice president. Steve, thank you so much for being with us. It was a remarkable article. Uh, and uh, really, you made the argument that some of us were making earlier today and also one that I've been saying for quite some time. Um, while people are in the White House, while they're working in the White House, while they're serving the White House, it's, they, they, they fall into this false sense of security that they're going to be there forever. Uh, and the second that door closes, Mika has quite a few stories about what happens on, uh, on January 20th at 12.01 p.m. when you suddenly get the phones ripped out of the wall and the Secret Service drives away. Uh, things change very quickly. That's absolutely true, and they change more as the years go on. Some presidents, as you know, Joe, become more popular after they leave office than they were in office. But the perspective that I tried to bring to this was my study of other presidents from 100 or 150 years ago and asking which presidents sustain a place in the popular imagination. And it tends to be the two-term presidents. It tends to be a limited number of presidents who made big changes, who may have driven huge controversies in their time, but managed to win re-election, spend a second term, and leave a legacy that other later presidents fight over. And while Donald Trump's career is not over, hasn't left office yet, he's still got almost two months left, talks of running, we're told, in 2024. We don't know what his future holds. At the moment, the way he looks in history is as a reaction, a response to President Obama, the two-term president who preceded him. And President Trump's own record suggests that because he spent so much of his time going after the fights, refighting the battles of Obama's years over the Affordable Care Act, over the Iran nuclear deal, over the Paris Climate Accord, over environmental regulations, over transgender protections in the military. And that's just a partial list. That was a huge driving force in Trump running for office, in the policy positions that he took, and in what he tried to do. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.